Hey and welcome to Ali's Self-Sufficient. Today we're going to do a garden to the plate. Now I've been doing pretty well with my brassicas this year which I've never been good at um, and I've got cauliflower which I'm harvesting now in August and I love using it as a replacement for meat in a certain recipe. I don't like to think of replacing meat but uh, in things like uh, spaghetti bolognese um, which I'm going to do today for you um, but using cauliflower as the base so let's go get our cauliflower now as you can see I've got a string tied around this cauliflower which I'm just going to untie and that helps it to get to a decent size that'll that'll do for me it's got a couple of leaves and bits that have got on it but that's okay I'm going to reach into here and cut the cauliflower Yeah, and that's going to be our that's going to be our cauliflower for our dish today. And I've got an onion inside already that I've harvested one of my last onions and chopped that up. So let's go take that inside and turn it into a lovely dish. So here we are, and uh, I've got my ingredients down here, which I'll point out. So what this does is it gives you a replacement for the meat that you might use in a dish like spaghetti bolognese. So I'm just going to run through the ingredients and what they are and just show you how, how we cook them up. And you can cook this up and then you can add your flavourings to it. Um, I'm going to put the herbs and things in um, that I'm going to use uh, because I am creating a spaghetti bolognese today. So um, here we go. So we have our chopped up cauliflower, which I've just finely, finely chopped into small pieces. Some chopped up onion. Uh, and then I've got some chopped up walnuts, chopped up walnuts, and they provide the crunchiness and sort of texture uh, that, honestly, I I've had some people when I've done my spaghetti bolognese haven't even realised that it's a vegetarian one, so there you go. Now I've just got some olive oil in there. Uh, heating up, a bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then I'm just going to tip the onion in there. Now what's important is to just brown up that onion because you want to um, have it like a meat replacer and I, like I said I hate saying replacing meat because I don't want to replace meat but there are some dishes that you're going to use a vegetarian mix instead. Um, the important thing is to really brown up, brown up the onion so put the onion in first and just really brown it right up and then we put in the cauliflower so we let that get some tinges of brown before we start to put the cauliflower and the walnuts and your other flavorings in now I am going to make this whole lot into an Italian dish so I am going to put my nice Italian herbs into it as well now I have a little bit of uh, chopped uh, luckily I've still got some fresh basil there uh, in the middle of winter and some parsley which I'm going to put in also this is something else that I do like this is a bit of um, oregano and what I've done is I've dried that in the healthy food dryer in the summer when I've had oregano and then I dry you know my own little packets of herbs so that's another thing that you can do to um, preserve uh, your herbs uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of that in as well now you can see that's browning up nicely um, and we'll put in the next thing in there which will be the cauliflower so we just tip that right in there we are and tip in our walnuts and there you mix that all together and that just cooks down and becomes the basis for the replacement in meat unbelievable in a um, spaghetti bolognese so the idea now is to just totally brown that up. The other thing I'm going to pop in there is a bit of garlic. Right, there we go. And we just stir that all in together. I put the herbs in there. Prime garlic and some parsley. And it's just a matter of just browning that all up. Uh, another thing I like to use is a little bit of magic sauce sometimes. So putting like a little brown sauce of some kind in there is nice. But whatever you want to flavour it up with. And then in with your tomato and all that sort of thing. But you do that after you've browned everything up. And then that's used 
you wouldn't even know when that's all cooked up and all ground up you won't even know that's not meat it's just uh and it tastes absolutely you know exquisite and it's all from the garden now in here i have my frozen tomatoes they're all the tomatoes that i uh, froze from the garden and i just put a little tiny bit of water in the bottom and just cook them away and that'll be the beginning of the tomato part of my spaghetti bolognese i just boil them down and um flavor them up and uh yeah well they'll go in as a tomato brew and so you can either i mean i just freeze them solid like this and then they thaw down and they cook and you can flavor them up with your herbs and pepper and salt and um you can if you're worried about the skins i suppose you can strain it or put it through a blender to smooth it out um but i'll just boil that down now and um yeah all from the garden all the garden goodness right so i've added a little homemade paste and a bit of pesto you can put in some parmesan cheese but that's how you go then i just add in a bit of the pasta sauce which has got the spag in it which i've already done and just put that over the top and you can see that's all really nicely browned up give that a little stir around because we're going to add more when we spread it over the spaghetti And just a little splash of wine in there. Make the sauce a bit richer. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, it looks pretty much like meat. Nice brew. Let's pop that on the top of there. And then a little of our sauce on the top. And a little bit of Gruyere cheese. Hey presto! And there we go. Bon appetit. It's a vegetarian spaghetti bolognese. Thanks very much for joining me today on Ali's Self Sufficient. Don't forget to hit the notification and hit subscribe. And see you back soon for another Garden to the Plate. Thank you.